Hi, my name is Nathan Levy. Hi, I'm Sienna Tacey. Hi, I'm Irene Hall. And I'm Hisa Jung. Hi, my name is Jasmine Rodrigo. Hello, my name is Richie Armstrong. Hi, I'm Celine. Hi, I'm Joaquin. Hi, I'm Roger. Hi, my name is Ruth Jaquette. The most important skill I've learned at GUN is to talk to people because I didn't talk to people before and now I talk to people, which is important. I think it's time management. Like, I still suck at time managing and I always procrastinate, but like, occasionally, occasionally. when I time manage well, um, I think it's really helpful in that, I don't know, I can plan out things a lot better and I feel less stressed. I'd say the most important thing I've learned at GUN is how to juggle my whole life just with academics and my social life and extracurriculars, everything. Just like being able to organize my work while maintaining a good relationship with my friends and family um, at the same time. Yeah, I'd say that the best, the best thing I've learned at GUN is just how to live and how to be a person. Because at GUN, obviously, we're stacked with so much work and social life and a lot of pressure. And just going to this school is a really good way of learning how to you know, what my future is going to be like and just how to juggle everything at once. The most important skill I've learned at GUN is to close my backpack whenever I'm done using it. The amount of times I've had other students come up to me telling me to, it's wide open has been way too many. And at one point, I just had to learn that myself and close it every time I'm done using it. I would suggest, like, doing a lot of things. There's, like, a lot of opportunities at GUN and just, like, take advantage of that. Um, and then later on, kind of narrow it down and stick to whatever you like enjoy. I think the most important thing I've learned is how to take a test with zero preparation and then how to also take a test that I've fully prepared for and then see a problem that I've never seen before and somehow find a way to like derive the answer. Um, I'd say the most important skill I've learned at GUN is like communication because like in, in freshman year I was like super shy like I would not really talk to a lot of people but then like I joined like cheer and ASB and I'm like really good at communication. And like Gun has like a lot to offer and there's so many cool people here. So it really pushed me to talk to others more. A Luke Bryan Crash My Party. She by Tyler the Creator featuring Frank Ocean, both parts, duet, but just me. I'd say my go-to karaoke song is um, Banana Pancakes by Jack Johnson. I know the lyrics to like the entire song. My go-to karaoke song is definitely Someone Like You by Adele. I'll kill for Adele. Amazing voice, amazing singer, amazing songs. So I'll sing those anytime. Can you sing some for us? Um, someone like you, I wish nothing but the best for you. That's a good one. That's a good song. Dangerously by Charlie Puth. And it's because there was a K-pop survival show where someone sang that song really well and I kind of gaslit myself into thinking I could sing it like that too so I want to try it. Hey Sandy from Greece because it goes so hard. Can you sing some for us? No. I'd say for me personally it has to be You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor's version. Taylor's version. Yeah. yeah. Can we hear you sing it? We can do together if you want. Wait, well, how's it go? It's uh. She wears wear short skirts, I wear t shirts. She's cheer captain, and I'm on the bleachers. Think about the day that you wake up and find her what you're looking for. I've been here the whole time, and you can see that I'm the one you understand. My student council rally playlist. If you hear anything other than like the same normal songs you would regularly hear, uh, like J. Cole, Drake, ASAP Rocky, Migos, that's me, and I'm proud of that. Everyone uses it now. That yeah, I'm a really big fisherman, and I don't tell people that a lot, but I fish in tournaments. Something I'm really proud of is my cheer teammates because I was able to help them learn the cheers and get them down really solid. And if you pull up to the homecoming game this Friday, then you'll be able to see the whole team cheering. And I, I feel like I'm very proud of them because I was able to help them with that. I got really good at pencil spinning over my four years at GUN. But my teachers all hate it because I keep on pencil spinning during tests and it bothers everyone around me. I still sleep in my pink Lotso teddy bear from Toy Story 3, and Aww. I take him everywhere I go. Uh, I got him when the movie came out, so like 
13 years ago and I've stuck with them pretty, I've stuck with them since. Everybody always asks me how I dye my hair and how long it takes and everything, but the truth is I was just born this way and it's all natural, so. Wait, bro, to be honest, do you really read the English books? I do. You do? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, so. I really hate my role in that symphony orchestra video and you should not watch it. The most embarrassing secret I can think of is from junior year. Um, I had Mr. Hernandez and I turned in my essay a month late and I didn't tell him, <laughs> tell him I didn't update him at all and I was just kind of avoiding him and I, I still got an A so... <laughs> That's all that matters, right? That's, That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, sophomore year in air bands when I got to run a money gun across the whole student body outside on the football field. I was like screaming and I was jumping around and the excitement I felt during that moment was unmatched by anything else I'd gotten. Um, I could hear all my friends screaming and it was just such a great time for me. My favorite memory at gun would have to be playing games during lunch like spike ball and football with my friends because it's really fun and we have a lot of fun. My most memorable moment at Gunn was doing high school musical in my junior year because I've always wanted to do theater at high school but I just didn't have the time. But I auditioned uh, last year with the rest of my cheermates and we got to be background cheerleaders and it was just so much fun. Some of my favorite moments at Gunn have happened at our floats meetings, especially last year when we actually won. So shout out Nathan and Nile for the bridge because that was amazing. Every Valentine's Day, I bring a bouquet of roses to give out to my friends, and it like makes me so happy to see their faces light up.